I'm going to talk about the Clover inventory app. So on your Clover dashboard and on your Clover device, there's something called inventory. In this video, I'm going to talk about the inventory app on the Clover website. So again, this is the website. So by the time you see this video, the inventory button may have been moved down or up. Just look for a button called inventory. I'm going to go ahead and click on inventory. Once you click on inventory, you will be able to see your Clover inventory. It can go with stock, categories, labels, setup. I'm going to go ahead and press categories first, and I'm going to see how many categories I have. Looks like I have just one category, and I have, let's see how many items I have. I have apple and coffee. So I have two items in here. Not that many items. I would like to add more items. I can either add them one by one by pressing add new item or I can add categories and then fill the category with items so I can go about it both ways and you can go either route they both work and the other way you can do is import your inventory what do, what do I mean by importing your inventory well here's an Excel if you're pretty good with Excel and you've already built out your inventory uh, with your name, the price, the price type, the tax rates, all these things, then that means you can import this inventory into Clover. I have my modifier groups, categories, tax rates. The reason why I'm showing you the Excel route is because if you're good at Excel and you want to just type it out and by using a template, right, here's a template, once you download the template, you can fill out the template. Um, anyhow, the template should be in Excel, but in your case, make sure to download in Excel. I downloaded it in TXT. Let me change that real quick. There we go. And then press that. I'm going to close it now. I'm going to go ahead and open it again in Excel. Once you fill out the template with your inventory, go ahead and upload it or in other words in in other words import it uh, so once you press choose the file press import from excel again there's a very high chance when you do this the first time you'll get a bunch of error messages and i expect that to ha happen as well so let's see what kind of error message i get the excel will not be imported please fix the following errors and try again okay Let's see what it says here. Items number one, please make sure you have the following headers. Clover ID, name, alternate name, price. Okay, let's go ahead and fix these one by one. Wow, it's a lot of mistakes. But once you fix one of them, the other one should clear up. Let's see what it's telling us to do. Please make sure you have the following headers. Clover ID, name, alternate name. Okay, I have, my screen is kind of small, so let me see if I can zoom this in. Uh, where's zoom at? I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it's pretty small. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and just follow these instructions. Um, Clover ID, name, alternate name. I have Clover ID, name. Oh, I see what's happening. I, I don't have an uh, alternate name after here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, insert. Oops, I, I pressed the wrong button here. Let me go back. So I'm going to go ahead and add alternate names here. I'm going to press insert and then I'm going to call this alternate names. Um, let's see what else it says. Price, price type. Okay. Price, price type. I have that. Price unit tax rates. Uh, price unit tax rates. Uh, cost product code cost product code okay good uh, skew modifier groups quantity skew modifier groups oh I don't have oh, I do have skew skew modifier group quantity labels hidden non-revenue item okay I don't have this one let me add this one at the end okay non-revenue item and that should basically do it okay I'm gonna go ahead and save the file again 
and I will upload it one more time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and upload this again to the Excel. I'm going to press save here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I imported the newer version uh, and press import Excel. Let's see what kind of error message I get, I get this time. Okay, looks like I have one error message this time. Let's see what it says here. Uh, please make sure the following headers, Clover ID name, alternate name is price tag, uh, cost, okay. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay, let's see uh, what which one I'm missing. I counted 15 here, and I also counted 15 here. They all match up. The only thing I noticed that was different was I had the name alternate name and I had alternate names here right here see how it says alternate names so I'm gonna move the S let's see if that makes a difference I'm gonna press save again I'm gonna go ahead and import my inventory one more time let's see if that fixed it oh more errors okay let's see what's going on this time the following cannot be imported the following can be imported successfully oh good actually I got 99% imported so the Excel file, oh, actually, it won't be imported. Um, item 172, since there was nothing in the name column, leave the price type column empty as well. OK, since there was nothing in the name column, please leave the price column empty as well. Uh, OK, so this uh, item called row 172, let's see which one that is. 172, 172, OK. OK, what is this? It says here. Since there's nothing in the name column, leave the price column. Let's give this one a name. Let's call it um, bagel. Okay, bagel crisp, something like that. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if that solves it. I saved it again. I'm gonna go back and Oh, actually, it did import it. Okay, that's fine. Um, even though I fixed it, it's it appears imported everything except for that one column. So anyhow, that's how you import your Excel inventory. Um, again, no people don't import their inventory uh, often. It's probably once or twice maybe as you buy your Clover and do these things. But you may go through that learning curve or learning experience that I just did of trying to find out why the Excel spreadsheet wouldn't work and just fix it. Just listen to the directions and fix it. And if you do all that, you'll have everything imported. So here's my inventory. I have all these categories that I imported. I have my label, I have my items, I have my modifier groups. Um, if you don't see modifier groups here, by the way, that means that you probably don't have the correct plan or the right plan. After you've done your inventory fixes and imported the Excel spreadsheet or whatever changes you made, you're going to have to go to your order online page and uh, import it here as well. What this import does is it imports it from your Clover to your order online page. Okay, so keep in mind that this import is not Excel import. It's basically importing the data that we just did uh, from the Clover to here. So you just press import sync inventory here wait till this thing uh, loads up the very first time and let's go ahead uh, see I, before I had 124 categories but I had no items so I'm gonna go ahead press update order types I'm gonna press update modifiers now after I do this I should be able to see let me see 184 items let's take a look update categories and then update all items so let's see uh, if I'm right this should come out to 184 items unless there's some item I'm missing here oh yep 100 sorry that's category sorry this is not items this is categories what am I talking about is that categories no actually that's items sorry items yeah let me see how many categories I have Categories, I have 24. So let the system do its thing. Um, and then you will see how many categories and items you have. Again, the first initial import will take some time. So kind of be patient while it 
reconfigures itself and tries to get all this data into your order online page because as you can see there's lots of items here I have lots of different stuff here and I have what about 24 categories so it has to take all this information and feed it into the order online page okay so again once this is finished you also want to do a clean inventory after it's finished uh, just to be on the safe side because even though your old inventory is no longer in your Clover inventory, but some of them might have got jumbled up in there. So after this is finished, do a clean as well. Once everything is imported, just go through your order types. Um, check the stuff you don't want. You want to hide the categories you don't want to show. Uh, go through your checkout settings. Uh, are you, do you want to accept pay a location, pay upon delivery? Uh, the typical stuff that you would need to do to get the most out of the online orders coupons, tips, um, which tips you want to accept. Uh, let's say I want to accept uh, 15, um, 30, 35, or just leave it the way it is, 20 and 25. Yep, 25, and then I can make the default tip 10% if I wish to. Um, again, there's entire other videos devoted to these things, so make sure to watch, some, watch them to learn more about each additional feature. Uh, and you can find the videos here. Look, it's right there. Uh, if you go down here to the video tutorials, you'll find more. Or you can go to YouTube and search for Smart Online Order, and you'll find some in documentation here too, okay? So uh, learn more about it if you need to, uh, or you can get set up just like the way it is now, and then start learning as people start ordering. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you again for your time.